Hey, Recordbox fans, Pulse here with Pioneer. Going to give you a little walkthrough video on how to set up your OSX firewall for using the Recordbox and Records Box link. Now, some of you with uh, the firewall have been a little frustrated. You know, link isn't working, your players aren't connecting. Well, I'm uh, here to give you the, the breakdown for uh, both the built-in uh, OSX firewall as well as the third-party firewall, Little Stitch. So, uh, the first thing you want to do is just to make sure everything's working. Let's open up your system preferences go to security, and we're going to turn the firewall off. So log in if you need to. Now 10.5 and 10.6 look a slight bit different in this uh, regard. The 10.5 has a, a box here with all your applications. 10.6, they've hidden that under advanced here. So uh, turn off your firewall, stop, go back, save changes, and open up a record box. This is version 1.2.3, uh, but uh, if your version is newer than that, that's fine. Uh, I'm using this with a DJM 2000 and two CDJ 2000s. Any configuration will work, single players, multiple players, with the mixer, without. Uh, you click on the link button and your players will show up at the bottom. Of course, these players are numbered as per the display, the player number, and uh, the mixer appears in the middle. If uh, you are using two computers, that's where this number will change from one to two, but that's all good. So in my player display, I can see a record box link, so I know that that happens to be working. So I hit the play button, and there's my track. Uh, if you have the mixer and you are not able to preview your tracks, go into the preferences here, go to audio, and use link monitor of DJM2000. You can actually turn it on. So you can see where it says at the bottom here, link monitor off. You want the output of the uh, the record box internal player to come through the uh, the, the DJM 2000's Q link, and so you're going to turn that on. The Q link's located to the left side of the mixer below the InstaFX. What that does is it allows you to then take your track, drag it to the mixer. The player controls are here, but you will hear the headphones, uh, the audio playback will come through the headphones in your mixer on that Q channel rather than through the MacBook speakers or uh, whatever you've got set up as your sound card for your output. So now that we know that the link is working, I'm going to quit the program. Going to go back into the system preferences, into security, log back in if needed. Start your firewall up, and we'll open the advanced to make sure that we're not blocking connections or stealth mode. I'm going to leave this window open, slide it over to the side here, and go back into record box. And you're going to see four pop-ups, and those are just the application trying to get through the firewall, and the firewall saying, hey, these are what's trying to connect. You're going to allow all four of them. So the record box app, the PSV Link Sys Manager, the PSV NFSD, allow, and once we click on the link down the bottom left here, we're going to get the fourth one. So EDB Stream D, allow. Now my players, I happen to know that they are connected, however the players themselves do not show the record box, and my recommendation here is to power cycle. A lot of people get frustrated, they restart the computer, they wind up in the same situation, if you only power cycle the players, you'll see the icons disappear from the bottom of the screen, power cycle the players and they will come back up. You will see when you press the link button, a record box on your display. And then once that happens, you can actually drag and drop tracks to them and they will work. So now my firewall is enabled and I still have the link working. So of course, same thing here with my mixer. That is working and the other player. So now that you've got your your OSX firewall configured, if that's what you're using, you're good to go. And if you have any other troubles with this, you can certainly hit us up in the forums. If you want information on configuring the little snitch firewall, stay tuned and just keep watching here. So we're going to quit record box. And actually, here, here you go. You can actually see all the four four rules that I had created. So that's okay. I'm going to click OK. I'm actually going to stop to turn the firewall off. This is the typical configuration for Little Snitch. You do not have the OSX firewall turned on. So you can close that off. And we're going to go into the Little Snitch preferences, uh, which are up in here. We're going to go to the preferences to make sure that we are have that one turned on first, because I obviously turned it off. I'm going to show my activity. And I'm going to go back into Little Snitch rules. Now I have created my rules already and I've set a filter for them. I'm going to link all of the specifics for these in the, the YouTube video below in the notes so you can find the, the information there and just copy and paste it because you need to specifically hit these addresses here. So slash applications and uh, well, let's edit the rule and just show you. Forward slash applications slash record box 
slash content slash mega. These are specific portions of this package, the record box app package that you need to have allowed through. If you were just to run the firewall and have it ask you every time a, a, a piece of software tries to access, you will only ever get record box trying to get through. You won't get the, the PSVs or the EDB. You need to actually manually add those. So if you follow the instructions, it's very easy because once you get the first one configured, doesn't matter which one it is, you can actually come in and right click on this rule and say copy path. Then when you click on new one, you just paste and there's a path. You erase the last little bit of it and then add the next portion and go on. So when you okay, it'll just add that, uh, that next item. So once all that is configured, close it off, go back into record box. Click on link. And I can see it's come up on my player, so I'm just going to drag and drop a track. And there it is. Catch us online. If you have any other questions, I am Pulse. We'll see you in the forums. Cheers.